We got more clips from OTAs. Today, we're going to be looking at the Arizona Cardinals getting another look at Marvin Harrison Jr. We're going to watch him catch some balls, run some routes, do some drills. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now. We're going hard in the paint, looking at these rookies, watching what they're doing behind the scenes at rookie camp, OTAs, mini camp, training camp. On top of your favorite veterans, click that button. Stop missing out on your favorite players. But we got some clips here of Marvin Harrison Jr., also Kyler Murray here. 38 seconds. Some from last week, a couple from today's practice. But here we are. We're going to start off with this one. This one blew up social media a few days ago. Him bringing in the catch. A cinematic clip there. Posted everywhere. Here's another one. Boom. Hitting the hands. A close-up. A lot of these are from far away. So he's on the back there. It looks like him and Kyler. Him bringing in that ball. Another one, Kyler all the way to Marvin Harrison Jr. That one had a little bit more speed on the ball coming his way. Another toss to Marvin Harrison Jr. And then here's another one. Here them run through a drill. Ball coming his way, making the snag. And what I feel is him and Kyler Murray, they're going to have a good rapport with each other. It's already building. You can kind of see from the clips. This is our second video on them. And I think Kyler Murray is going to just spam him with targets, as he should. As he should. I do not expect the usual rookie ramp up for Marvin Harrison Jr. I expect him to be productive off the rip. I expect him to be an alpha in this offense off the rip and be a stud wide receiver. He should be very productive this year. He should already be productive for fantasy football. He should be a guy that is worth the value. He's going to be heavily drafted. He's being drafted up there in underdog draft, so the price is up there. The price has been up there in Dynasty as well. He's the 102 in Superflex, the 101 in 1QB, and it's worth it because we've been waiting for him to come out for the NFL for a few years now where you have him garnered as a generational prospect, a player, a wide receiver that only comes out once every few years, a player who, if he hits his upside, odds are likely he's going to finish his career being able to get selected for a gold jacket. But thinking about him, he should be a very productive player at the NFL level. There's nothing really hot take to really say about him. I think the odds of him becoming a bust is very, very, very low. I mean, it's always going to be in the cards with every single player that comes out. But the odds of that happening, I, I just can't make an excuse for how that could happen. He's so good. Very refined route runner. Good after the catch. We saw him get faster over the course of his collegiate career because he was working on his speed throughout every offseason. We saw the clips of that, especially when he was working the jug machine and he was putting the ball in there and then chasing it down. This is a tireless worker here at the wide receiver position. The Cardinals, as they all know, and as all the Cardinals fans know, they got themselves a good one, and he is going to be an immense player for the NFL, for the Cardinals, for fantasy football, dynasty fantasy football, for a long time. The value is always going to be up there, and he's just going to be out of the box, a superstar player, and the odds of him not being that is not very good. The odds are more likely he's going to be productive and be a player that's really going to hold it down for a very long time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch on the next video.